Hello folks, welcome back. This will be my first video of 2023. Uh, today is my March 4th and uh, it's about 52 or 53 degrees. Beautiful sunny day. I uh, had a lot of wind last night and a lot of branches down but I don't have any don't have any damage here on in the apiary. Uh, our first pollen flow was early this year, very early. It was February 17th. The red maple started blooming. Uh, our temperatures have been up and down, but we've had a lot of days in the 60s and 70s. The bees have been out quite a bit. The red maples are done blooming now, and I haven't had anything else that I could see uh, have kind of filled in the gaps. Uh, we should have some other stuff blooming any time, though. The bees are active. They're out looking. Um, they're scrounging what they can. They're starting to hit the pollen sub again. Uh, now that the red maples are done. Uh, it's time to get in and see if we have a lane queen. Uh, I've got every one of my hives have made it through winter. Some are a little bigger than others. Uh, the next step is, do they have a lane queen? And if there are some that are excelling, that are really big, you might pull a frame of brood out of them to kind of help one of the small ones. So that's today's project. Just kind of go through real fast. Make sure everyone has a lane queen. So stick around. I was in here a couple weeks ago, gave him a a little bit of pollen sub to fill in the gaps on the rainy days. And looks like they've eaten almost all of it. It's very good. I figure on the rainy days they could probably use a little help. Now the question is, I see a really good coverage here. Good population. See if we got a lane queen down in here. Still a lot of food up here. That's good. And I've got larvae down in these cells. I know you can't see them because of the shadows. Those empty cells are just jam packed full of larvae. We're going to check a couple more quick frames. Really, at this point, we could stop. We know they got some food, not a lot, but they do have some food, and they've got a lane queen. But, curiosity has got me. I've got to get at least a couple more frames over just to see what this, this hive is doing. So obviously we got capped brood, we've got open brood, we got food stores. I'm seeing young bees. So this hive is turning things over to the next generation. And there's the queen. Right there in the middle of the frame. She's calm. Overall, the hive's very calm. This is a third generation queen I've raised on the farm. Hoping that I can see this on the. Okay. It's really all I need to know. I'm very happy with this one so far. I'm 
just get this button back together very gently. See capped food, so they got plenty of food still. Definitely a much smaller cluster. Let's go ahead and pull a frame of honey out of the way. Full frames of honey still. Get this out of the way. Here's where I need to be. Now this is the clusters up against the sunny side of the box. I'm already seeing some young bees. Very light colored and fuzzy. Let's see what we got. Oh, lots of brood. <clears throat> and there's the queen right dead center on this one. So we're doing good. Happy with this one already. And see, this is really all I need to know. Nice young queen. Plenty of brood on the next frame over. Very gently use that frame back together. <clears throat> and this frame's full of pollen. Pollen, a little bit of fresh open food, and a lot of honey. Put that right back up against the cluster. A little smaller than I'd like, but not, not bad. Uh, these are carnial and based genetics. You're not going to have 10 frames of bees like you would in most of your Italians. A little smaller than I like, they'll be fine. It's got a queen that's about uh, ten or ten and a half months old, and this frame is laid up pretty good. Larva of all stages, a little bit of capped brood, good population of bees in this hive. A lot of food left in the upper box, so this is really all I need to know. Is they have a laying queen? They got plenty of food. I'm seeing a lot of pollen that they pulled in off the maples. They look good. So on to the next hive. Okay, the bigger hives, the strong hives, Already just starting a little bit of drone brood. These are just the beginning of drone brood. This is early March. So these are the big hives that you gotta keep an eye on. Because they'll try to hit the trees before all the rest will. So we're going to see what's going on down in this one. For 
tremendous amount of pollen, still a lot of food left from last year. So they did well, frugal. A lot of brood. Hive's looking good. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Probably have to pull this one back. Help boost some of the smaller ones a little bit. Okay, looking good. Lots of food, lots of larvae. On to the next one.